folks, welcome back to Nostalgianomics. I get asked all the time, Alex, how do I make money in this hobby? So today, no BS, no clickbait. I'm going to show you how you can literally double your money. The easiest way right now in the Pokemon hobby. You can watch this video. You can literally go out and put it into practice today. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Before I do that, I got to shout out today's video sponsor. It's Low Popping. They're your source for all things collectibles, guys. They got Pokemon, they've got sealed video game systems, sealed video games, sealed products, modern, vintage, Japanese, English, high-end, low-end. It literally doesn't matter what you're looking for. They've got it. They are also always buying, selling, and trading. So if you're looking to make a trade for something, you can always reach out to them. And also, if you're looking to sell off your collection, they're always buying as well. You can reach out to them at email, info at lowpopping.com, or at Instagram, lowpopping. So make sure to check them out, guys. I'll leave the links in the comment section and the description below. All right, so what am I talking about? Trainer Galleries. Everyone knows the Altars from the Trainer Galleries and Sword and Shield have had a massive run-up lately, but then they had a massive cooling off where they dipped 20 to 40% lower than their all-time highs. Now, this has created a huge gap between the raw pricing and the PSA 10 pricing. And before you get all scared about grading with PSA, right? first of all, it's only $15 a card, and there's actually specials going on right now that take it down to like $13 a card. Not only that, these full art trainer galleries, they take a lot of the risk out of it. What do I mean by that? Well, you know how I am with pop reports. There, there's a lot more data points out there than just looking at pop reports for, for cards values, but it's great when you're looking to grade cards. So if you go to Brilliant Stars Population Report and you look at the full art Trainer galleries, not the ones with the V's with the black borders, not the ones with the yellow borders. Those are actually hard to grade, but the full art ones are actually very easy. Look at the full art Umbreon VMAX, 3,900 tens out of only 5,000 graded, meaning the majority of all of them get tens, right? We can go down, we can look at uh, the Mimikyu, right? The full art Mimikyu, there's 1,650 tens out of 2,197 graded. Again, the majority of all of them get tens. Same thing with the Sylveon VMAX. 2,267 uh, 10s out of 30,012 graded. Very likely to get 10s on these cards. And so when you go look at the Umbreon pricing, right? Right now, that Umbreon has dipped all the way down in the mid 30s. 3588 plus shipping, 35, 38. So between 35 to 40 dollars is what this card's going for, right? It's still selling between, I would say, what, 115 to 130, depending on if you're auctioning it or buying it now. So you put $35, $40 into it. You pay $13 to $15 to grade it. There's some shipping and stuff in there. Still, you're doubling your money on this card, right? You're literally able to double your money by just putting that in a piece of plastic. And by the way, very easy to do with how easy they are to find in PSA 10 copies. Same thing with the Sylveon. The Sylveon VMAX right there, that beautiful card. Only it's going under $20. Very low risk. Going for like $18 to $20 raw, okay? PSA 10. 62 plus six plus six shipping. We got 70 out of country. We got $83, 68 plus shipping. So between 65 to 80 ish dollars is what it's going for. So literally buy it for like 18 to $20, put it in a 15 to $13 piece of plastic. And now you double your money on Sylveon. Same thing goes for the Mimikyu, the Mimikyu VMAX, another awesome card, a Sorolla laying on the big Mimikyu. Um, it's, it's now going for 15 to 16 ish dollars. And in a PSA 10, it's still selling the 70s and 80s. 70s and 80s. So easy double your money plays. Now we're going to move to another set. Lost Origin, right? You guys all know the big bad Pikachu VMAX, Trainer Gallery 17, 4,100 10s out of 6,049 graded. Very easy to get in 10s. And this Pikachu's got a huge margin right now. So everyone's looking for this Pikachu. But look, you can literally buy it for under $40, 35 to $38 near mint. And it's still going... One, 116.99, 108 plus shipping, 117 plus shipping, 108 plus shipping. So it's literally going between 110 to 120 plus right now. And you can pick it up in the 30s and grade it. Another doubling your money play. Uh, last but not least, we're going to Silver Tempest, right? Silver Tempest is a few big ones. Blaziken VMAX, huge play right now, very low risk. Look at this, 1,268 tens out of 1,680 graded extremely, extremely easy to grade. And then you also have the Rayquaza VMAX, 3,881 tens out of 5,015 graded. Another extremely easy card to grade. So here's the Blaziken right here, right? Blaziken VMAX, great looking card, but it's all the way down to under $15. 
13 to $14, you can find this card raw. And look at what it goes for graded. 77 plus five shipping just ended on the 23rd. $85. Guys, you're talking about a sub $15 card, 13 to 15 to grade it. It's got one of the highest PSA 10 uh, ratios out of all of these cards. And, and that now you can make it worth $80 plus. Incredible. Same thing with the Rayquaza. Rayquaza uh, VMAX, it's going for about 115 to 120 in a PSA 10 on the market right now. Here it is. Beautiful Rayquaza VMAX. You can find it for $33 to $40, I would say. $33 to $40, depending on who you buy it for. So $33 to $40, put it in a $13, $15 piece of plastic. Now it's worth $120. Guys, I know this video, there's a lot of other factors, right? I understand you have to be able to source the raw card, right? You have to come in, it has to be grade worthy. I understand there are costs to grade, there are costs to ship, there are costs to sell. I understand all that. I'm not trying to be unrealistic, but you can literally make, after all the fees, shipping, expenses of grading, you can literally profit 70, 80, 90, even a hundred percent on some of the cards like the Blaziken. If you make these plays right now, what happened is because the, the raw value shot up so quickly, so fast, so high, and the graded PSA tens kept up with it. it and now the, uh, the trainer gallery, um, uh, raws have come down. The PSA 10 value is still up, but the raw graded value or the raw values down. So it's created all this gap there where there's still a lot of money to be made now where before there wasn't. And so this is not just for these cards. You can actually put this practice in, uh, in for yourself. You can go search the market for cards that have seen, you know, massive upturns and then massive downturns and see if there's plays in the graded value between the raw value. And you can make those plays as well. Look, I just picked the trainer galleries for this video. There's tons of plays out there where the same thing has happened recently and there's huge money to be made. Literally 50, 100%, sometimes 100% plus on your money. And it's not trying to grade these niche cards that are very hard to grade, very hard to find near mint. These are easy cards to find near mint, easy cards to grade. And it's really just easy money to be made right now if you want to take the time and make the play. So good luck to all of you that do make this play. If you're asking me, Alex, are you doing this yourself? Absolutely. I've got a little of every single one of these cards being graded right now. Absolutely, I'm making the play. I'm giving it away. I'm giving away the method for free. Here it is. No Patreon membership necessary. So you guys can always go out and do the same thing I'm doing. We can all, Everyone can eat in this hobby. Um, so hope you enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet, and I'll be back here in a new video soon. I'm out.